Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Men and Neil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today, it's very much appreciated. I'm going to do a reading for Scorpio for the month of December. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest and make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I say he or she, the cards could be vice versa, but please only take what resonates with you. Alright Scorpio, I really only wanted to pull out one card, but your cards kept flying. Okay, so what we have at the moment, sorry if my voice is a bit low. Um, the cards are telling you to get creative, Scorpio, okay, because, you know, if you're doing some sort of business venture or, um, you know, you're wanting to go in a certain direction, you need to get creative about it, okay? Um, you are doing a lot of thinking, but mainly you've got love on your mind, okay? Um, somebody that you want to have union with, but lately you've been studying the habits of this person, okay? Um, for some reason... Why are you studying the habits? I don't know, but we will soon find out, okay? But, um, yeah, maybe you're studying quite a few people's habits, not just one person, okay? But love is definitely on your mind for the month of December, and you will get creative in the month of December also, okay? Now, what I've got here is that you need to get creative because of the financial restraints that are happening at the moment, okay? You're doing a lot of thinking, you're doing a lot of thinking on how to do this, but something is going to happen that is going to make you very, very happy, okay? So, um, you know, the thinking woman could also be thinking about her future happiness, um, but right now there's a bit of a lack and you need to work on your finances, okay? But sit tight with your money don't go overspending on unnecessary things okay but what we do have here within the next few months you've got success coming in the next few months so you know get creative i don't know what this success is but we will soon find out on that too all right so your other cards here is i think you've accepted a lot of things in life scorpio Okay, um, maybe you've come too complacent about being single and that's why love is on your mind now. And, um, you know, I don't think you just want to accept how things are anymore. You need to make the changes and you are going to make the changes. You're going to bring balance back into your life. Abundance is going to come in for you in many, many ways. And I feel... Um, you know, you're very brave, Scorpio. It's coming in that you're very brave, okay? And I feel like there's a lot that you still need to explore. Um, and you do a lot on your own. Maybe you work better on your own. But, you know, you're very brave because you know you're very well protected. And you know that your intuition and your, um, you know, the way of doing things, it works for you. Okay, so... Um, you're going to explore your inner child and you're going to explore a lot of places and the places you're going to be going to are going to be um, places that nobody else dares to go, really. But, you know, you're very brave for taking on, you know, the role, okay, of being that. But, yeah, abundance is coming in, balance is coming in and, no, you're not going to accept life the way that it is. You want more out of it and you're going to get more out of it, okay? All right. Let's see what the tarot has in store for you for December. No, that's me. I'm holding the cards upside down. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, what have we got for you for the month of December? The Nine of Cups. The Two of Cups. Six of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the King of Pentacles. He always comes up for you, Scorpio. All right, so let's clarify the Nine of Cups.
Mm. It's a bit of heartbreak coming your way. Okay, I think, you know, there was this person that maybe came in and gave you an offer. This made you very, very happy and you thought that things would change between you, but there's a heartache. Either you're gonna find out that this person has a third party or there's, you know, three people involved in this situation. I think you're gonna make plans to leave, okay? Yeah, you're thinking about it. You're thinking this person has brought somebody else into the picture. The changes that are coming in may be coming from the universe and not, not you doing it, but you've been waiting on your Nine of Cups. You've been waiting on this person to make you an offer and, you know, destruction is coming in because you're going to find out that there's another person involved, okay? This person, they're going to hurt you. You know, and as much as you think about them and want to be with them, that you are going to make plans to leave this situation. All right? Yeah. All right. So the next card you've got is the Two of Cups. This is an offer of a partnership. Usually it's in love, but it could be in, in work. I think you're feeling that you may need to take a, a direction or um, you're thinking of upskilling your skills in some way or form but you're also looking at your finances and which direction you have to go and maybe the direction you have to go is to change this cycle that you're in okay you're feeling mentally tied and trapped and although that you know you want to have a conversation with this person you find that the cycle just keeps repeating itself do they love you yes I'm going to say they love you Okay, um, they could choose a direction. They could end the cycle that's keeping them mental, tight and trapped. Okay, maybe they want to talk to you about it, but, you know, it's a cycle that keeps repeating, but, um, you know, could be vice versa, Scorpio. It could be the other person that's mentally tied and trapped to a cycle and, you know, they want to make this offer to you and they're finally going to come towards you. But the Wheel of Fortune is saying that things need to move forward because you're feeling very stuck, okay? Mentally stuck with our forward movement. We've got somebody here, the Six of Pentacles, Six of um, Cups is somebody from the past wants to make you an offer. Scorpio, look, you've come up in your own reading. You, um, you're going through a transformation. You are rebirthing, okay? You are beginning something new, all right? Well, this could be you've discovered somebody has recently passed. But um, you've got some decisions that you have to make here, okay? The Six of uh, Cups is somebody from your past, somebody that you feel has strength, has courage, and you admire them. Okay, are you also feeling that there's no growth in this situation? And, um, you know, that really all you want is truth and clarity, but truth and clarity is going to hurt you. Okay, this person gives you truth and clarity, you will be hurt. Okay, because in the past two cards here, you are sensing third party, fourth party. There's quite a few people um, around this person, all right? Okay, you feel like this person is keeping lies and secrets. Um, you know, you're going to have to make a decision, Scorpio. Do you want to continue this or do you want to end this, you know, and just move forward? Okay, we've got some news that is coming in really fast, Scorpio. Okay. You've got some news that is coming in really, really fast, okay? It could be in the next seven to eight days. It is regarding something that you have put a lot of hard work and effort into. Um, the magician is the universe giving you all the tools to be able to do things, but it's also a card of manipulation. 
quarrels, arguments that is going on, okay? You're going to take a leap of faith, Scorpio. Um, I've got a funny feeling the leap of faith is to leave. You're going to take a leap of faith with the Queen of Wands. There you go. Either the Queen of Wands is leaving this situation or you're leaving this situation. The Queen of Wands could be an energy, but it's somebody who is um, in control and, um, you know, wants to be in charge of their own kingdom and do whatever they want, okay? And that means either they're going to turn their back on you, Scorpio, or you're going to turn your back on them, okay? Because you're going to end up in an argument. You put a lot of hard work and effort in this, okay? But the news is coming in very, very quickly. All right. This is going to give you some sleepless nights, Scorpio. Okay. You're a bit worried. Maybe you are worried that, you know. That this person is going to leave or you are going to leave. Intuitively. There you go, you've got the King of Wands now. Intuitively, you know that this person is not telling you the truth. You know that this person has options and they are meeting up with other people. Um, and although you need to make a head or heart decision, Scorpio, um, there's no point. You, you're coming in as the High Priestess, somebody who, who knows, but, she, you know, they may not have the evidence, but they just know that something is not right. And this is giving you a lot of sleepless nights because you know you just know you need to make a head over heart decision regarding this okay um for some of you you might be signing a new contract or moving home or moving away but the three of pentacles can sometimes also represent a third party um, but i feel like this person has a number of options whoever you're dealing with the king of wands okay All right, so you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new beginning. This is opportunities that are opening up for you, Scorpio. Um, Scorpio, I kind of feel like after you leave this situation or somebody's leaving a situation, somebody's coming back to make you an offer. They don't want to let you go, Scorpio. Either they don't want to see you with somebody else, but they're not giving you any commitment either. This offer that has been offered to you is the same offer that's been offered to you before, okay? Now, this person or you are going to get justice in this situation, all right? Now, you're coming in as single and beautiful and you have everything that you have to offer to somebody, but you don't have a partner in your life, okay? There's a lot of decisions you're going to have to make here, okay? Now, if you don't like what you're hearing, you're going to bring the swords down and cut this person out of your life, okay? Because you want this brand new beginning. You want it. You're feeling lonely. You're feeling at a loss. You're feeling like attention is being given to others and not to you and you know all you want is somebody to make you um an offer because you you know you, in scorpio you don't ask for much in life you know all you want is happiness all you want is happiness and the justice is going to be in your favor you are going to get this okay all right so we have the queen of swords here this is could be uh a legal person it could be a doctor it could be just you in your logical thinking it could be an aquarius libra gemini all right you know this person that you're dealing with has been very slow to come in because they i think they are partnered up with somebody else they could be in a marriage they could be in a another relationship okay their energy is very flighty in and out in and out but do they love you scorpio i said it before they love you okay but they are carrying a heavy burden with the queen of swords here okay um this person is trying to make a logical decision because they know they're going to carry a heavy burden they do love you scorpio but their energy is flighty they might be seeing other people they just want to take control of their life take control of what's going on in their home this could take a while you could be up, waiting up to another year scorpio it's up to you whether you want to wait or it's already been a year in progress okay so it's up to you whether you want to wait any longer 
Uh, but I see somebody coming in with an offer or an apology. I think they know they've hurt you, okay? Um, yeah, because they were at a crossroad. They had to make a decision. They've made their decision based on finances. Scorpio, whatever the outcome is, you are going to be happy. Okay, you have the sun card. This person has sneaky behavior, is trying to get away with something, or somebody is leaving a situation, and you know, there has been a third party, but no equal give and take in this situation. All right, you are going to move on to karma. What is you are going to replenish your finances? Okay, this person had choices, they were talking to you and others. They will apologize for what they've done, okay? But you don't really care at the end of the day. I see you here moving forward. You are going to go towards your happiness, okay? So moving forward. Yeah, you're going to deal with your emotions. All right. Something's coming in for you, Scorpio. It's something that is going to give you um, a union. I think you're going to be guided in, in the right direction once this all breaks down, okay? So moving forward, dealing with your emotions, ready to give your cup of love to somebody else. Somebody sees you as the empress. Somebody who is kind, nurturing, um, you know, has the ability to probably have a family with if, if they're, you know, at a young age. But um, the Empress is the mother of all the Queen and Kings and she's very wise and she's full of wisdom and her intuition is really high. But, you know, there is somebody that's thinking of giving this another try. They might gravitate towards you. You know, they want success and happiness with you, Scorpio. But, um, you know, right now, by then you're thinking, I, I just need to move forward. Yes, I've dealt with my emotions. I'm in my Empress power now. Do I really want to give this another try? Because I could be stuck there for another, you know, a year or two before I get this happiness, okay? All right, so we have the King of Pentacles. This looks like somebody you're going to meet, Scorpio, all right? This is somebody who is grounded, somebody who has their finances in order, has a home, has a business maybe, you know, but they're very comfortable in life, okay? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You've got a victory with this person, Scorpio. You know, they're coming in in the new year when you put things to an end, when you deal with your emotions, okay? Um, this person, you have a victory with this person. Doesn't have to be that star sign, but that's the position that that person is in. Comfortable in life, has everything that they need in search of a partner. This is a serious contender, Scorpio, okay? Um, I think you're tired of the toxic behavior. You want your wishes to come through, Scorpio, okay? But whoever you left, they want to come in and talk to you. They want to have a new beginning, okay? They're feeling left out in the cold when you left, and they want the happiness and success with you, Scorpio. You're going to have to make a decision, Scorpio, whether you want to be with the King of Pentacles or whether you want this brand new passionate beginning with, with the person that you walked away from, okay? Um... Let's have a look what's left here. The person you're dealing with is stuck in a relationship. They are stuck in a relationship, okay? And they are going to set boundaries with this person. They will turn their back and move away, okay? This could be you, Scorpio, feeling that you, this person is stuck where they are. You're going to have to set boundaries with that person. Turn your back and move forward, Scorpio, okay? Um... I don't know what to tell you here, but you really are in a place of um, a very strong decision that you have to make and you're very hesitant of making that decision because, you know, you gave this situation your all, you love this person, you truly love and that there is love between you, but this person keeps giving the attention and um, can be enticed they can be enticed to, you know, do things behind your back that um, could be with other people or sexual behaviours or or um, 
just enjoy they they enjoy the attention that they're getting you know there is a lot of women around a lot of women around okay um but this person here has the potential to lose you and to lose the partnership that they're in now even though that they're, they're stuck but by the time they come towards you the king of pentacles is going to be um in the picture okay so let's just get a few more oracle cards here don't stop scorpio keep keep going don't let things hold you back okay you're coming up there as somebody who is very brave and you can have success in your life you can have happiness you need to study this person's habits okay this is not somebody that you just met i don't feel and if you're asking a question the answer is yes okay within the next few weeks you will get that answer all right so let's do one more ask ask for help scorpio from others okay but don't stop keep going wherever it is that you're doing whatever your intuition is telling you just don't stop just keep going and whatever the question is the answer is yes all right and that will be answered in the next few weeks okay so let me know what it is and let's see if it comes true for you okay scorpio but i really wish you all the best and um please stay out of your mind and just keep moving forward don't get stuck in your head regarding one person that no matter what you give them they they don't give you the, the same back in return okay all right scorpio i wish you all the best and good luck and we'll see you next time bye for now